America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Recently, a great European nation ordered several million dollars worth of bombing planes to strengthen its air defenses. The planes were constructed, tested, and then shipped in the holds of two great passenger liners. However, foreign agents working against the nation which ordered the bombers heard of the shipment. Hardly had the first of the two great liners reached its home port when fire broke out in its hold. Such is the background of the story which John Holbrook introduces now. Thank you, K-7. The spies who operated during the World War sought information. The spies and secret agents of today are expected to do more than that. They're often under direct orders to carry on undeclared war by burning, bombing, wrecking, and even murdering. Our story opens as two such ruthless foreign agents talk in low tones in the deserted lounge of a great continental hotel. Do you have your bombs ready? It is nearly six o'clock. The ship will dock within an hour. The bombs are ready, Kolbik. We will pick them up on our way to the pier. Good. You are sure we will not be stopped going aboard? I have prepared for that, my friend. These passes... They will allow us aboard to greet friends. Once on the ship, we will conceal ourselves in an empty stateroom. The crew is always anxious to get ashore. We will have no trouble there. The men working in the hold will stay aboard. Yes, but they will not see us. It will not be necessary for us to go into the hold where the planes are. We will set the fire bombs forward. Two midships and two in the stern. The fire will get underway so fast, the entire ship will be destroyed before anything can be done. It will be easy, my friend. We've laid our plans very, very well. And what about the second liner? It will dock while the first one burns. We will strike so quickly the police will never suspect. The entire shipment of bombing planes and both ships will lie on the bottom of the harbor before this time tomorrow. Now, come. It is time to start. Kolbik. What's the matter? Look in that chair behind us. There's a woman there. I saw her head as I stood up. Wait. Yes, you're right. She must have heard us. If she did, <laughs> we are fortunate, my friend. She sleeps? Yes. It is most fortunate for her. You are sure? Yes. Come. It's time to go. in the chair was Patricia Norwood, Special Agent C's assistant, and she was not asleep. However, Pat wasn't sure the two plotters had left. She forced herself to keep her eyes closed while she counted slowly to 200. Then she sprang to the telephone. Hello. Give me suite 301. Hurry. Oh, he isn't in? Are you sure? N no, no message. I'll leave a note for him. Thank you. I've got to find Z. Those men are on their way to the ship now. Boy. Boy, bring me some paper. Yes, ma'am, Dad. You will find some at this desk. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, wait. Wait, I'll write a message. This note is very important. See that it's given to the man in suite 301, just as soon as he returns to the hotel. Yes, ma'am, Dad. Um, this is for you. Uh, thank you. I will see that the gentleman receives the message. Tell him it's necessary for him to come at once. Pat arrived at the waterfront a few minutes later. She found the great liner already docked and the passengers coming ashore. She took up her position near the gangplank and scanned the faces of those who passed her while she waited for Z. As it grew darker, great lights were turned on. An hour passed. Then Z arrived. Z! Z, over here! I came as soon as I got your message, Pat. Are you sure this is the ship? Positive, Z. I sat behind him in the lounge. Yes? This ship carries bombing planes. They're going to destroy it, 
by placing six bombs aboard. Have you seen the captain? No, no, I, I waited for you. I knew they couldn't do anything while there was so much activity. Well, then, come on, Pat. We haven't a minute to lose. But I... This is exactly the kind of activity a spy would take advantage of. Everyone, even the crew, is interested in getting ashore for the evening. And they could move around the ship without being questioned. Oh, Stuart. Yes, monsieur. Is the captain aboard? He has just gone ashore to make his report, monsieur. Zee. Uh, Zee, did you hear that? Yes. There are men working in the hold, mademoiselle. Fire! Fire! Zee, those are bombs. You're right, Pat. You're right. Go ashore and wait for me. But I... I've got to find whoever's in charge and get the planes out of the hold before the fire reaches them. See, wait. Yes. The second ship is coming in. We've got to protect it. It also has planes aboard. No, wait for me. We'll go to the other ship later. disappeared below decks, and with the crew worked desperately to remove the cargo, particularly the bombing planes, from the blazing ship. In the meantime, the second great liner docked at a nearby pier. Pat knew that it, too, was in danger. When, after an hour, Z failed to meet her, she hurried to the second ship alone. See, Andre, you can see the flames. It will go to the bottom. Ah, the smoke is drifting this way. There was no danger to us. We were a man here. It... Where is the captain's cabin? What? Quickly, where is your captain? Uh, he has gone below, mademoiselle. He went through the companionway behind you only a moment ago. Thank you. He must have gone this way. As Pat made her way down the companionway, two dark figures followed her. The girl. She's out of sight. Yes. I have seen her before, Colby. You were too far behind her to tell. You placed the bombs in the stern? Yes. Good. Here's a service closet. We're about midships. Put two in here. Be fast. Set the mechanism. All ready. Close the door. Good. Now we will go forward. When we have placed the last two bombs, our work is finished. Come, follow me. The two spies made their way forward and placed their last two bombs. Then they retraced their steps. As they started for the deck, Kolvig saw Pat approaching. Uh, our work is finished, Hoppner. We will leave the country tonight. They will never know. What's the matter? Someone is coming. Quick, see if the door is unlocked. Yes. Step inside. Quickly, close the door. I recognized her, Hoppner. It was the girl we saw at the hotel. She followed us. Do you think she heard? I don't know. Keep quiet. I don't think she saw us come in here. Have your gun ready. If she comes... The handle is turning. I'll take care of her. Step in, mademoiselle. What? Put your gun on the table. Oh. You're a smart girl to do as I tell you. Otherwise, I would have killed you. What are you two doing on this ship? That, mademoiselle, is none of your business. Pick up a gun, Hoffman. You, mademoiselle, close the door behind you. Very well. It's locked. And there's the key out the porthole. Uh, Holbeck, she locked the door and threw the key into the water. You fool, you know what you've done. I've locked all three of us in here. And we'll stay here until somebody finds us. You've trapped us. This ship will blow up within 15 Quiet, minutes. Quiet, Hopner. You talk too much. But we've got to get out. We'll die. How many bombs have you placed on this ship? You may find out later, mademoiselle. Stand aside. I'm going to shoot the lock off that door. Try it again. Perhaps it won't work. Those doors are heavy. Shoot again. We've got to get out. Try it now. It won't open. Wait, I'll use our gun. The door is steel. It won't work. It's got to. You've trapped us, mademoiselle. We will die together. The bombs are already set? Six of them. They will explode in five minutes. I don't want to die. Perhaps you won't. Who's there? Pat. Pat, are you in there? The... See, listen to me. There are six bombs on this ship. Yes? We're trapped in here. The lock is probably jammed. They tried to shoot it off. Get the bombs first. We'll stay here. Where are they placed? Tell him, Colby. 
You'd better if you want to live. You win, mademoiselle. Two are in the sea deck service closet in the stern. Yes, go on. Two are in stateroom 317 forward. Sea deck. And two are midships in the linen closet. Go get them, Z. There are six members of the crew with me. They'll get them. Now I'm coming in. Stand aside. We're going to crash the door. One great liner was completely destroyed, but the second was saved. The arsonist, Andre Kolvig, and his assistant were convicted as spies. And since the laws of the country in which they were convicted are strict, they were tried secretly and faced the firing squad. Such is often the fate of those who work against peace. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. (laughs) 